Hey everyone, this is Kibastic and today in my hands I have an awesome puzzle by a small brand called Geeker. Geeker has already shown us uh, their clever Rubik's Cube and this clever puzzle is called a Super Slide. Let's see what it looks like. Like that. There's a feeling uh, that the addition to Tetris has returned. Check out what it looks like. We have uh, a small screen, uh, then we have yeah, one of the most pleasant moments. I bought this puzzle just for this. Then we have... Uh, yeah, it's not clear how to remove it. This is already a little puzzle. Great, and this part seemed to just... Uh, fall out, but some of them are held on by magnets. There are still a few parts in the box. Let's get them out too. Inside the box we have such an interesting combination of things so where all the rules of this puzzle are explained and judging by this instruction we need to insert the batteries, we have uh, several types of parts and we have uh, 511 levels, where 1 to 10 are the easiest and uh, 366 to 511 are the hardest. In order to start this you need to insert batteries. Yep, the first stage of this puzzle is solved. The puzzle itself consists of a playing field with a screen where all the necessary information is displayed and we have elements of various types. Small elements are yellow, medium ones are blue and the main large element is red. The main task of this puzzle is uh, to bring the main element to the playing field. As soon as uh, the element is here, the task will be solved and the game will inform us about it. All elements are attached here on magnets. You can even hear how they move. <laughs> Amazing. Thanks to the magnets, uh, the pieces are fixed in place and don't fall out of the puzzle. And they are also so, so cool and pleasant to move. Of course, I would like the game to track the position of each element, but it only tracks uh, the position of the red element, and as soon as we move it here, the game thinks that we have solved this level. So there is an indication only on the red element. Let's try to solve some level, let's say level number 4. We expose uh, the elements as shown on the screen. It's really convenient that everything on the screen is highlighted by the color. Quite a lot of yellow elements in this level. Ok, let's see if I can deal with the solving quickly enough. In general, this puzzle and the game as a wall uh, look not so difficult. So... Yes, look, this level is simple, but there are, let me remind you, 511 levels. We can uh, scroll through the levels with the button, we can scroll to the last one, now we have reached uh, the 18th level, Arrow to the right increases the number of levels and arrow to the left uh, decrease. And it seems to be a 21st. There are also two modes. We hold down the letter C, the challenge mode. 3, 2, 1, we can start. And our task here is to solve the puzzle until the green snake reaches uh, the end. The first time it was too fast, uh, the snake left too quickly, let's try it again. I push on the letter C. 3, 2, 1, OK. In this case everything worked out, I had an easier combination. The game gives me a C rating. And what if, uh, for example, I set the level, for example, let's check out the 22nd. Let's uh, solve it together with you. By the way, an interesting feature, we have a blue elements only. There is no green on the screen. Ok, green is used to show that the blue element become horizontal. So the vertical stripes are blue and the horizontal stripes are green. And for example, if you and I cannot solve this 20 second level, we hold down the L button and now the game on the screen shows us which element and where we need to move. By pressing the arrows left and right, the game makes a move. Here we go, the next move we lower it down, the next move is uh, here. The next one here, up, then again here, up, this one. It is uh, this mode that helps us uh, to solve the so-called assistant. 
You can call it that, why not? Ok, let's try to solve a level that is really difficult, like something around the 50th. Guys, if you don't know about the Kibokal store yet, then I recommend you to visit their website. This is one of the best puzzle stores I've come across. There is such a huge selection of puzzles that it's just hard to imagine. And every day on this site there are more and more new products. All the puzzles there are of high quality and the delivery is really fast. I will leave a link in the description, go to the cubicle store and choose your new cool puzzle. Don't forget to use my promo code Cubastic to get a discount. This is what level 50 looks like. Also, I'm wondering how long it will take me to complete this puzzle, so I'll time it. So, here we go. Well, yes, this is not level 4 anymore. There is not much freedom for action uh, and movements anymore, because uh, there are blue elements here. And there are a lot of them, and they cannot move as freely as uh, yellow ones. The blue elements, when they are located at the bottom, restrict the movement of the red elements, and our task is to put the maximum number of the blue elements up. So let's try to do it, why not? Oh, it didn't work out again! It's not as easy as it seems to be at first glance, absolutely not that easy. I didn't even expect this game to be so exciting. Although it seems to be elementary simple 15 puzzle. Yeah, here it is, it's done! Listen, 3 minutes is not as fast as I expected. And this game also has its own application. At first I thought that it would connect to the game and track the position of each element, but no. All levels are simply duplicated here, and they can be sold right in the application. It turns out it is not necessary to have this game in order to play it. You can just uh, download uh, the Geeker application. Well, well. But it is much more pleasant and cooler to hold the game in your hands and to feel how the elements move and how the red element gets in its place. But uh, we can still use uh, the solver mode, for example. If uh, we are lost or we have uh, come up with our own game, so uh, we can uh, put uh, the details as we want. So, for example, uh, we have uh, constructed our own level, and now if we cannot solve it, we will recreate it in the application, and uh, then the game itself will look for the right solution. I remind you that we mark horizontal lines with green. Here we have a rather difficult arrangement of elements. We press to look for a solution, and there's a solution. Then we press play, the game itself solves the problem and shows it on the screen, we just have to repeat after it. Here it is, how far the technology has evolved, but I wonder if I can solve an even more difficult level. Judging by the scale, approximately the average level of difficulty will be between 61 and 100. Let's try to solve level 80. Set the elements correctly and start. So we set it all correctly. I wonder how much longer it will take me to solve level 80. So let's go. Listen, but why is it all so interesting? This all looks more or less good. But this one cannot go anywhere from here. How can I move it? So far, most difficult part is uh, this blue thing. It doesn't want to move, although we need it to get out of here. It doesn't work. It's just a disaster. Really unsolvable thing. Yeah. 
So, well, there is it turned out. This is already something. Yes, there is. This time the level was sold in 8 minutes and almost 50 seconds. Whoa, now I'm incredibly interested in how difficult level 511 will be. I don't know if I can manage it, but I hope you will support me. Folks, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet and turn on all notifications. One of my following videos will be dedicated to the awesome logical game Marble Circuit. Don't miss out. 5, 1, 1. Let's set the level 511, I think it will be really difficult. But I hope, thanks to your support, I can handle it. By the way, in this level we have 5 long blue elements and practically no yellow ones. Just imagine. This is how the initial position looks like. I don't understand where and how something needs to be moved here. But we have already started and therefore there is no way back. Let's start, it's time. The problem is uh, that there is one detail left here, it's not needed here. Ow, how inconvenient it is. The only thing I came up with is uh, the idea that we can't separate the yellow parts. They are small, mobile and they can move anywhere, so I want to collect them in a bunch, all in one place. But so far I'm so confused that I don't understand how to do it. Well, we at least can leave them in pairs, so that they stay here like paired elements. In fact, we need yellow details in order to turn a vertical element into a horizontal one. But we cannot turn this one. And that's the difficulty. It's impossible to solve. I definitely want to remove the blue ones from the bottom. How can I move them from here? Tell me, please. It's impossible. I need to replace one horizontal one with two yellow ones. That will be my next task. One went down horizontally. Listen, it's good. Oh, it's much more difficult than I thought. To replace two yellow ones with one horizontal one here, how can I do it? Oh, 10 minutes, timer stopped. We'll keep that in mind. The game turned off. It got tired? <laughs> ok, let's play like that for now, let's see what happens. My brain is melting, to be honest. In total, I have been solving this particular level for about 25 minutes. How difficult it is, just something unbelievable. So far, I have managed to take one horizontal piece up. Which makes me happy. I'm getting close to the end. What's next? We need to move the red one over the edge, so we need to free some space here. Yes! We move it here, it fits. We want this one, it fits. Ouch! And here comes the difficult part. I can't take it out from here, it's impossible. This is the most difficult task in this game and I spent so much time here, but it's still not solved. Damn! And we came to the same phase we had 10 minutes ago. Now I have the same thing but in reverse order. That's all. Except that I have yellow ones here. Yellow ones are good. We need to find a way to move this blue thing up. Here it is. <gasps> it worked! 
OMG 511 difficulty level is sold 511 I even ran out of batteries in this puzzle while I was solving it It won't even turn on Oh, it turned on, can you imagine? Please, check this, I won this level Yeah <laughs> Yes, this video ends with such a victory, I really hope that you liked it, sorry for making you wait so long, but believe me, for you it was way faster than for me. Just look at this, it took me almost 50 minutes to solve this level of difficulty. Guys, I will be grateful if you liked this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my social media pages Instagram and TikTok. That was Cubastic, see you in the next video, all for now, bye everyone and have a good time!